welcome to pre-math in this video we have got this uh, blue square and this uh, red uh, equilateral uh, triangle abc put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, blue square ebfd is uh, one centimeter square and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, red uh, equilateral triangle uh, abc please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe Please keep in your mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square EBFD. We know that this is a square and we know that its area is one centimeter square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length uh, of the square. And we know our area is one centimeter square. So I can write uh, S square equals to one. Let's undo this uh, square. So we're going to take the square root on both sides. So S turns out to be positive uh, one. So the side length of this uh, blue square turns out to be one uh, centimeter. So that means all these uh, sides are uh, one uh, centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, red triangle uh, ABC. And we know that this is an equilateral uh, triangle. And we know the fact uh, that the angles of an equilateral uh, triangles are 60 degrees each. So that means this angle is going to be 60 degrees. This angle is uh, 60 degrees. And likewise, this angle is uh, 60 degrees uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ADE. Let's assume that this uh, side length of this triangle AE is uh, X centimeter. And now we are going to calculate the value of uh, X. And now let's recall uh, so Kartoa and we are interested in uh, tangent of 60 degrees uh, equal to opposite uh, divided by adjacent. And in our case, uh, our opposite uh, side is uh, one centimeter and the adjacent side is uh, X uh, centimeter. So therefore, uh, tangent uh, of uh, 60 degrees is going to be opposite uh, side is one divided by adjacent is uh, X. And we know that tangent of 60 degrees is square root of three. So I'm going to replace this one by square root of three. So therefore we got uh, square root of three equals to one divided by X. Let's uh, make a fraction. This one on the left hand side, just putting one underneath uh, and let's uh, flip both side over. If we flip both side over, that is going to become uh, one divided by square root of three equals to X divided by one or simply x is going to be equal to one divided by square root of three now let's go ahead and uh, rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of uh, three and this in the denominator square root of three times square root of three is going to give us just three so thus our x value simply turns out to be square root of uh, three divided by three so thus our this uh, a e length uh, turns out to be square root of three divided by three so therefore i'm going to replace this x by square root of uh, three divided by three and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, side length uh, e b of this uh, blue square is uh, one and this uh, line segment uh, a e is uh, square root of three divided by three so therefore uh, this uh, whole length uh, a b is going to be one plus uh, square root of three divided by three so therefore our this uh, length uh, a b is going to be one plus uh, square root of uh, three divided by three and in this next step uh, i have just uh, replaced one by three divided by three to add these two fractions so therefore uh, this could be written as 3 plus uh, square root of 3 all over 3 and this is our length uh, a b 
and we can see that this uh, AB is the side length uh, of this equilateral triangle uh, ABC. So this whole uh, thing uh, turns out to be 3 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3. So that's our this uh, side length of this uh, triangle AB turns out to be 3 plus square root of 3 divided by 3. And here's our next step. Uh, we have drawn uh, this perpendicular from this uh, vertex C onto this uh, line uh, AB. Such that uh, this uh, vertical uh, CP is the height of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Let me go ahead and represent this height uh, by lowercase h. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, height uh, h. And since we are dealing with this uh, triangle ABC that is uh, equilateral, so therefore this point uh, P is going to be the midpoint uh, on this uh, side AB. So that means we have two equal segments. One is uh, AP, the other one is uh, PB. So that means since this uh, AP distance is going to be the half of uh, this distance AB, therefore half of that distance is going to be up to multiply by 1 divided by 2 times uh, 3 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3. And that could be written as 3 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 times uh, 2 is going to give us uh, 6. So thus our this uh, length uh, AP turns out to be 3 plus square root of 3 divided by 6 uh, as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, APC. And now let's recall this uh, so Cartois once again and we are interested in uh, tangent of 60 degrees uh, equal to opposite uh, divided by adjacent. And in our case is our opposite side is uh, h and our adjacent side is 3 plus square root of 3 divided by 6. So therefore we can write uh, tangent of uh, 60 degrees equal to h divided by 3 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 6 and we know that tangent of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3. So therefore we can write uh, square root of 3 equals to h divided by 3 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 6. I'm going to put this one in parentheses and let me go ahead and manipulate the left hand side. I can write this one as square root of 3 divided by 1 and now we are going to cross uh, multiply. So therefore h equals to square root of 3 times 3 plus square root of 3 divided by 6. Now let's go ahead and distribute uh, and in this next step I can factor out uh, 3 outside and now I can see this 3 and 6 reduces to 2 at the denominator. So therefore our height h uh, turns out to be 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, equilateral triangle uh, ABC. Now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base times uh, height. Therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABC could be written as a half uh, times uh, our base is uh, 3 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 times uh, our height is uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 3 divided by Two. And now we are going to distribute uh, these uh, numerators. I am going to multiply out uh, these uh, denominators as well. And here I did the double distribution on the numerator. At the denominator we got uh, 12. And then we combine the like terms. And here we simplify. And our simplified answer for this area turns out to be 3 plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 6. So thus the area of this uh, equilateral triangle ABC turns out to be 3 plus 2 times square root of 3 divided by 6 uh, centimeter square. And that is approximately equal to 1.08 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.